Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you about how to learn application security for free. Now would you like to learn application security for free? If yes then let's check this out. Now uh, just go to the application.security and you'll see the application security training and the good news is that this application security website provide you with the it provides you with the free exercises for those who want to learn about application security and this would help you to accelerate application security training and software security education uh, through interactive learning yeah now uh, once you have opened this website, you can just go to the free exercises. Okay, just click that one and you'll see three different uh, exercises starting from the TikTok cross-site scripting. This is a new one. Ruby REST client backdoor and Capital One SSRF. Now let's check this one, uh, the TikTok cross-site scripting. Okay, now as you can see that uh, this TikTok cross-site scripting vulnerability is very new and as you can see that uh, there's a background, just read this one, social media platform. Uh, recently, um, the investigation conducted by Checkpoint Research against TikTok highlight uh trivial exploitable security issues now let's try to see how to actually uh, exploit this vulnerability yeah so you just need to follow the instruction and click next uh, you will see that uh, we have a total of 23 steps to follow yeah since this is an interactive uh, application security training so it will actually gives you the step by step on how to actually uh, do the exploitation. Let's click next. Yep. Uh, now, based on the scenario, the attacker here, yeah, blah, 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 and you can just copy the uh, URL and then right click and select Ctrl V. That will allow you to access HTTPS www.livemail.com and press enter. All right. Now, step number three, we will need to open an email message titled Change for America 2020. Double click. And step number four go to the objective now notice that the email details a meeting between bob and draco strategy staff and the bob in, uh, instructing bob to gather competitive intelligence against leading new journal yeah then let's move on to uh the next step now notice that in uh Step number five, you see load URL. Yeah. So Draco Strategies employees further provide Bob's with email of Washington Washington Post post social media campaign. And let's look at the uh, the address is http at tiktok or tiktik.com slash help. So go ahead and access the tiktik link. We just need to click the link. Now notice that, that in this email, uh, the email provides you with the link, which could be a malicious uh, link. Yeah, uh, and let's move on to the next step by clicking the link. So we come uh, to step number six, the, uh, the portal. Clicking the link loads TikTok advertising help portal and Bob's begin to browse through the site analyzing core functionality. So you go to the next step. So notice that we have this 
um, you know, um, you know the uh, appearance of the website, and then click next. And in step number seven, search. He notices a search uh, form field that allows TikTok users to search for articles. So what's next? Yeah. So Bob decides to test out the search feature by submitting the following keyword: XXS. Just Control V, enter, and the search returns no result. This is actually in step number eight: search result. And however, the application echoes back Bob's search. Okay, so as a seasoned hacker, Bob knows that rendering user supply input back into a web page is common source of cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. Let's select next. So now let's uh, copy the script alert hack script, which will allow us to uh, test this vulnerability. Press Control V and press enter and bingo we got this uh hacked um you know re, um <clears throat> pop up showing us the result so in step number 10 result interesting by submitting a valid javascript string inside the search form field bob manages to trick the tick tick adds portal into executing untrusted javascript code in his browser as you can see here yep and <clears throat> okay so sorry for the uh, disturbance and let's click the next to continue so it says that this ability to inject and run untrusted data such as, such as malicious javascript code or html into victim browser is known as cross-site scripting attack select next and next in step number 11 you, you can see the payload note that xxs uh, cross-site scripting injection payload in the previous step was alert hack can be replaced with more sophisticated JavaScript for HTML. So let's look at what's next. So for example here, for example, Bob can inject the following JavaScript payload to redirect user to another website. Let's say uh, it's an attacker website, www.attacker.com by modifying document location object. Let's click next. And to set up the attack or to exploit the cross site scripting vulnerability against Alice's account, Bob first create a fake login website or web page that resembles TickTick Ads login page. Okay, so let's just copy the uh, command to actually start web server to serve his malicious login. Just copy and paste and enter. And click next. And click next. This uh, it actually shows you that this command is to start web server to host Bob's malicious login web page. And then after that, the next one is uh, or the second command allows Bob to monitor the web server logs in real time. And we can go to the next step now. Having configured the exploit, this is actually um, step number 13. Yeah, Having configured an exploit, the exploit infrastructure in the previous step, Bob sent special, specially crafted email to Alice. And you can copy the URL, same like in the previous example, livemail.com. Anyway, this is just an example. Yeah, And then let's, let's click the uh, message from Bob's provided that this is actually the email of Alice and as you can see that the URL also uh, provide the link at take take something yeah so malicious emails normally contains 
uh, the link that will be uh, what do you call this executed once the user click the link let's just click the link oops we'll see the next and it says now this is the time we ex uh, you know exploit by clicking the link and in step 17 redirected as expected Bob's URL execute the malicious JavaScript that will uh, also allow the uh, what do you call this the email to redirect uh, Alice to www.tick-ads.com and remember that previously we have started Apache which was actually used to actually create the fake login now let's see what's next now in login here, let's just copy Alice. Yeah, let's just put Alice for email and the password of Alice. And we need to here we are actually trying to log on as Alice uh, by using Tick Tick authentication credential. Click login and in step 19 credential tab success so once we have successfully submitted the email address as well as the password then we can just click next to see what happened so the uh, this uh, will allow alice uh, to successfully log on to uh pre-configured uh Apache web server set up by Bob. Next, having remotely gained access to uh, Alice's uh, TickTix at account credential, Bob proceed logging into TickTix at portal by loading the following link. So this is step number uh, twenty. Click copy and put the URL in the link, and then let's try to log in again. We're using the same credential and the password of course so this is step number 21 logging on to TickTix portal using alice's stolen credential yep then success by exploiting the cross-site scripting vulnerability bob was has successfully managed to compromise alice's TickTix ads account and gain access to washington post at data yeah and before we move to the next step which is the last step let's scroll down to uh, step 19 credential theft as you can see here in the console we were able to actually get the username and the password of Alice all right and that's why we can actually log on using Alice's uh, credential yeah then the last step would be reviewing the vulnerable code step 23 the further understands to further understand the root cause of this vulnerability we need to have a look at the source code used to generate the search result in TickTix search feature yeah so click analyze code to continue yeah so here it displays the search result yeah and then this is the, the vulnerable code next is this one so the search return to result no result the following code block is used to render an HTML response with display no result for string followed by the original search and in order to render the search string the request dot get parameter method is called to extract the search parameter value which is then redirected rendered by the HTML template and the last one here however since no input validation is performed in the search field the value return the request dot get parameters may contain HTML tag that are rendered by the HTML template without any security validation so in fact we can inject anything in this uh, what do you call this 
uh, code yeah, that will return something that is expected by the attacker, right? Okay, that's it. So let's move on to the next one. And we're done with our exercise here. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so uh, I hope that this will help you to uh, practice with uh, for the application security, uh, uh, what you call this, to, in, to enhance your application security training. So we can actually practice with multiple free exercises. Uh, I would uh, strongly suggest that you also try this Ruby REST client backdoor and Capital One SSRF. Uh, other free exercises by Contra application security training. Uh, from my perspective as the um, consultant as well as the educator, I would strongly suggest that you, uh, you know, use this Contra application security training to enhance your knowledge about uh, vulnerabilities in application as well as uh, how to actually remediate those kind of vulnerabilities and by the way these exercises are uh, or were created by Contra uh, to provide real life examples of how application vulnerability would actually impact the organization all right so that's all for today. Uh, see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.